This week 14 college football picks edition of the Sports Gambling Podcast is presented by MyBookie.ag. MyBookie is giving back this Thanksgiving by offering a risk-free bet on the Bears-Lions game. Simply choose a team against the spread for up to $250. If you win, congrats. If you lose, don't worry. MyBookie will give you all your money back. That's for both new and existing customers. And if you're new, don't forget to use that promo code SGP for up to $1,000 in free bets at MyBookie.ag. We're also brought to you by Ace Per Head. Ace is the leader in paperhead providers, and they make it super easy to start your own sportsbook. Plus, Ace is offering up to six weeks free over at aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. We're also brought to you by Manscaped. Manscaped is number one in men's below the belt grooming. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code SGP at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com with the promo code SGP. Ooh, welcome everyone to the sports gambling podcast. I'm Sean stacking the money green with my partner in picks, Ryan, real money Kramer. What's happening? Kramer dog. A lot, dude. A lot. <coughs> What's up? Big dog. Uh, having some issues with the apple corporation right? oh wow ryan what's going on Are they uh, trying to hold us back i'm a heavy uh i'm a heavy heavy kool-aid drinker mm. uh, well not tonight tonight i'm drinking the fine kirkland sparkling water <laughs> couldn't couldn't splurge for the uh Lacroix. that's all right it's waterproof and uh anyway somehow the computer updates earlier today and wouldn't you believe it sean the software we use to record this fine podcast and the software I use to do post-production on all of the other fine podcasts on the Sports Gambling Podcast Network no longer works. What the fuck? So well, I, if you're listening to the podcast, that means Kramer figured it out. Yeah, I, I scrambled. Speaking listen. of machines, the man, superhero. the myth, and the machine, Colby Dan, a.k.a. the Dan to base, joins us in studio, as always, talking college football. Colby. What's up, man? Uh, how you guys doing? I got a confession to make. Sure. And I want to know if this is what life feels like. I've had nothing but just two salads today. No meat. <laughs> and, and You're I'm, asking I, the right guy I, over I, here, I, yeah. Soy Boy Kramer. I almost crashed the car on the way over, <laughs> bumper to bumper. I started to fall asleep. Your body needs th- protein. I, that's what I'm saying, man, right? Like, yeah. I, and I didn't do it on purpose. It was just it kind of happened by accident. But um, <laughs> it, this, how do you do it, man? How, so are, you, how you're, are you awake right now? You're blaming. We got to get our shit going mentally. <laughs> Colby, you, you got to remember to eat meat. Jesus I know, Christ. I know. You're blaming you almost falling asleep at the wheel on, on, the, your, my, on, my ve- lack of- on your incredibly healthy diet today. <laughs> Not the lack of sleep you've I, been I self-imposing. <laughs> I don't want to hear about it. Listen. <laughs> You're welcome to hop. I'm not going to hold anything against you. Colby. No, no, no. I'm going to get a one ex- when I leave here. If you want to go to two, maybe three, four days, I'm I'm in your corner. Unlike Sean over there. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? I'm telling him it's safe over here. Oh, in the in the it's soy boy place. zone. Your energy in life, though, your natural energy just yeah. goes down. You know what I mean? Exactly. Dog, your dog won't respect you. You can smell the salad on your breath. It's like that's not an apex predator. <laughs> It's a guy, guy who just ate a chickpea burger. Yeah, the dog. I, I murdered that chip chickpea. Murdered it. Uh, uh, <laughs> all right. Well, congratulations to Thank the you. Washington oh. State Cougars. Not to you, Ryan. Uh, you know, they won in spite of you bringing your shitty coleslaw eating sandwich mojo to Pullman, Washington. I got a lot of positive feedback. No, there's of, no oh, way anyone yeah. gave you a lot of people feedback. really uh, giving me a lot of credit. <laughs> for stepping forward for Coming being out the, of the closet I, i've i've even been been called the colin kaepernick of vegans oh wow really <laughs> just taking that stance and kneeling for the end all i know is what that it, is known as meat and sports in america all i know is we were in that press box watching that game when you had that coleslaw sandwich when you went to the bathroom that that scout for the washington redskins went over to me and he goes is, is, are you serious with that shit right he goes you guys are from L.A., aren't you? Right? And I go, well, I mean, look, we live in L.A., but we're not, we, we don't subscribe. You know, he does. I am from L.A. Yeah. now. We all are. <laughs> which means we all have a little fugazi in us. There was, a, there was a great moment while we were taking the tour, <laughs> and uh, we were hanging out with the athletic director, kind enough to hook us up, do the whole thing. And Colby goes to him, he's like, you know, I've always, I've always kind of been a closet uh, Cougar fan, closet fan. <laughs> 
And he, the athletic director goes, Colby, why don't you come out of that closet? And, <laughs> and I go, if he had a nickel for every time he said that or he's heard that. Oh, yeah, that, that went over. That crushed. I think I need crushed. a closet to come out, out of after two salads all day. Yeah. All right. Where are we at here? Let's do it. Let's talk. College football. You, you could have added protein to the salad, Colby. Yeah. That's not my fault. I know. I'm learning. You know what's a part of my daily regimen? Not eating just vegetables, but eating protein. <laughs> also, heading over to mybookie.ag, they are the protein that fuels my gambling. It's the, If you're a degenerate, you need some energy, you need a support system, mybookie.ag is there to help take care of you. Thanksgiving, it's, it's a big week. Uh, they give you the risk-free bet, up to $250 you put on the Bears and Lions. If you hit it, awesome, you cashed it. If you lose it, now it's just a regular spread bet, no props. If you lose the bet, they give you the $250 back, almost as good as the Pilgrims hooking up the Indians with all that sweet food. And, yeah. You know, and cyanide. <laughs> History. There Smallpox, were, I mean. Mistakes were made after that. <laughs> but on Thanksgiving, they came together. They celebrated the joy of eating a shit ton of food, watching college football, watching professional football. I don't know if any uh, NFL college games are on, but it's, it's going to be awesome. Thanksgiving right around the corner. But Friday, you got uh, the Apple Cup, tons of action, conference games heating up right around, rolling into bowl season. It's a great time to be alive, and it's a great time to bet at mybookie.ag. Use a promo code SGP for a 100% deposit bonus. Play, win, and get paid at mybookie.ag. Recap. Uh, I well, am well. Before we recap, sure. And I mean, uh, I'm gonna have to little slight uh, prepared wardrobe change here. I n- mean no disrespect to the Washington Cougars. So I'm wearing the sweatshirt. Very excited about their. They're gonna not lose a game for the rest of the season. We we bless them. Sorry, I meant to yeah. do this. <laughs> Gus Johnson, excited voice. <laughs> but I mean, I don't know if you watch college basketball yet, Sean. But earlier today, I've heard of it. My Virginia Tech Hokies. 6 and 0 now, right? Colby, explain the game. Just give give everyone a, the, well, the 30 second breakdown about what we're seeing with this team, Mike this Young coach doing a great coaching job. Now, here's the thing. Here's my only angle, guys. And Oh, a little topless Kramer. Oh, jeez. For uh, for for the people watching at home, youtube.com/sports. The, sports the Maui podcast. Invitational. I sent in an invoice to try to see if you guys could pick up my uh, <laughs> my trip to Maui to cover this this fine tournament. Never heard back from you guys. You did but, push that. That was But uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's a bold play, <laughs> but uh, see, the Hokies play uh, uh, Michigan State in Maui this afternoon. That's what's great about this week, guys. A lot of basketball tournaments going on, yeah. nonstop. Yeah, just games, games, games. You wake up and they're on. But the Hokies, look, they've already they were supposed they were projected to finish last in the ACC in college basketball. And let me tell you, Mike Young's got this team rolling. He brought in a couple grad transfers. Love what he's doing. They upset the uh, Michigan State Spartans. Won it outright. Yeah, um, outright. Not not yeah. Uh, the ba- the basics. The basis for the Kramer fuck my life tour. He uh, he had an accident. He's gonna be in the hospital. The tour is postponed currently. <laughs> uh, if you, you had got dehydrated. If, yeah. if you had tickets for those shows in Cleveland or Cincinnati, uh, they will look, there will be makeup a, dates. There there will, is the volcano gonna erupt in uh, in Hawaii or oh, something? Oh my goodness! No, it's all I, it's I, all I, saving for UVA beating Virginia. Uh, that's State what that's where I'm getting to. I'm, uh, <laughs> why 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 are they doing this? They're just building me up. You know, the Giants suck. That's cool. We're just gonna up. They, they've I I I, I mean. Outside of Duke or UNC, I don't know if they've ever upset a top five. Dude, team. and that's going to be one of those wins where if you get bat- once you get battle mm. tested through ACC mm. play, if you're on the bubble, um, that's that's going to be a, it's a quality a, win. A quality win, man. Yep, quality great, win. Indeed. Great, great. Fucking. Did you coach. watch the game? Yeah, so I was okay. uh, fortunate enough to be uh, working in front of my TV today. Beautiful. Just trying to focus. Beautiful. I'm literally trying to focus on a meeting. Like it's a video call too. Yeah. My eyes are just like next next year. If you guys want me to go to Maui, I'll, I'll cover that for you. Um, uh, that's on so. the table. <laughs> All right. <laughs> anyway, recap, Sean. Back to recap. Football. I'm doing a five lock salute to myself. Five locks in a row. Look out, college football expert Sean Green. Five locks in a row. Hit my lock. Uh, dog tease and bonus lock kind of a whiff there. Colby, of course, hit his bonus lock, bringing his bonus lock percentage up to 77%. Ryan hit his bonus lock, pushed on his regular lock. 
Uh, what other what other uh, other ways to say to? that uh, would be uh, one zero oh, and one or undefeated? Ryan didn't in miss his a lock or bonus. Lock. There we go. I know this is your guys' show, but I, I you know, I would like to uh, <laughs> to take the time to say if you listen to the college experience mm, yep. as a collective, we went twenty and four ATS on our locks. NC Nick, my my older brother, uh, eight and zero oh ATS oh again with God. his locks. Oh eight and zero oh on his college football locks. The past two weeks, he's had fifteen and one. That's 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 so, an that's insane <laughs> streak. <laughs> Please inform Patty C that the. Uh, his chair. <laughs> it's getting it's hot. <laughs> it's getting hot. Oh, hot, 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 hot. Hot, 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 hot. Okay, let's get into it. Crack one open. We got the Colby six pack. Feels like a good week for the six pack. Mm. <laughs> We've been on a nice run with the six pack. I don't know if anyone's had a losing week in like three weeks. Yeah. I think, last, I think it's last losing week of the of Colby six pack was week 10. Uh, it was actually me. But other than that. <laughs> Yeah, 11, 12, and 13. We've been at least 50% or better. Let's keep that alive here in uh, week 14. Oh, here we go. Somehow move the week 14 sheet. Cincinnati heads to Memphis. The 26. What is that? Is that actually uh, uh, is that Thanksgiving Day or is no, that Black, Black Friday? Black Friday. Yeah. Cincinnati heads to Memphis, Tennessee, where Memphis minus 11 point favorite, 1230 West Coast kick. What are you doing here, Colby? I can tell you what I'm not doing is I'm going. I'm not going shopping. I'm going to watch all these games, and it's going to be fantastic. Um, yeah, Black Friday. <laughs> I feel like quietly becoming a sneaky good college yeah, football yeah. Uh, day and, co- and college basketball too. You got. I'm sure there's other sports too, but um, give me give me the Bearcats here. Uh, Memphis, good team, but this the, the winner of this uh, is was going to have home field in the AAC champ- championship. So if Navy beats Houston and Memphis loses this game. Navy would then take the sp- take the, the they'd play Cincinnati in the AAC championship. If Memphis wins, it's a rematch of this game next week in Memphis. It's a big number, right? Too big of a number. Cin- I'm not a big fan of Cincinnati, but this is this feels like a uh, disrespectful number. Yeah, mm. and I think Sean? they'll get up for this one. Yeah. See, also uh, important to point out, this is one of those games. Sixty percent of the tickets on Memphis, but only forty mm. percent of the dollars. I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna be square here. I'm gonna take Memphis. Oh. <laughs> I think uh, I I just don't believe in this Bearcats offense. And Memphis is at home. Good time to they put got a good barbecue down there. Yeah, and, right. and and I think on Black Friday, that's I mean, listen, it's gonna be Thanksgiving's the day before these. I, I don't know what their travel day is, but Cincinnati, yeah, you're gonna be either Thanksgiving. I think having home field advantage the day after Thanksgiving matters a little bit more. Uh, than you know what? How many, how many coleslaw sandwiches do you think that that, <laughs> that, the, that Memphis University oh, football and team Ryan, will Ryan. have? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Thanksgiving, the holiest of holy days when it comes to eating meat. Will you consume meat on Thanksgiving? Do you want to save your response for the NFL Picks podcast? Should we tease it? I mean, if you want to, do you want a real answer? Yes. Stay tuned to the NFL show <laughs> where I will. I have some tasty meat like things I'm going to be eating on oh Thanksgiving. My God. Jesus, that dude. is a disgusting <laughs> act. All right. I'm sticking with Memphis minus 11. Uh, Cincinnati 1 and 4 ATS. Normally that's them not covering the spread as a favor, but I think it, it shows uh, they just. I don't think they have the offense to hang with Memphis. So I'm taking Memphis. I think they, I think they covered kind of easily, actually. I'm on, I'm on the Bearcats. Uh, I just think that Luke Fickle specialties defense is going to have everyone focus for this one. They got, they almost got upset two weeks ago against South Florida. So so I think they they came back and really figured stuff out. And uh, they'll, they'll be they know this is their this is their biggest game of the season. Sean, you're right about the offense, but the number is too big. All right, there you go. Clemson heads to South Carolina to square off against the Cox. Clemson minus 27 and a half point favorite. This is a 9 a.m. West Coast kick noon in Columbus, South Carolina. Colby, huge Columbia. home dog. Um, Columbia? <laughs> yeah. All right. Did I put Columbus? No. No. That's, I, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah what you, do you want you me to wear? You fucked that my... up. You fucked yeah. that up. Uh, we're, we apologize. No, no, I see it's Columbia. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I never know, you know. I'm moving to Columbia. Did you guys know that? Really? When? <laughs> oh, dude. Um, so I'm taking. Uh, give me the Gamecocks here. Twenty-seven what? and a half. It's rivalry week. Um, last last year, I think they lost by just twenty-four, and that was at Clemson. 
So this, this now they're coming to Columbia. Have you watched South Carolina play football? They beat Georgia from the mighty SEC. Uh, other than beating Georgia, <laughs> have you watched South Carolina play football? I, but but here, Clemson hasn't been tested forever. This is going to be a little bit of a test for a little bit. Is it a look-ahead spot? Is for Clemson Virginia Tech or, 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 or Virginia, I guess. Who, wait, who wins the – is it Virginia? That's, that's the essentially winner, the winner, a, yeah. every week is a playoff. That just takes too many points, man. Even if even if Clemson's up thirty five nothing, I th- I think then the fourth quarter no. the backups will be in. Mm. Give Clemson, me the game. Clemson Cox. coming off a bye, right? Dude, you you're missing yeah. the point. You know how bad the bottom half of the SEC is, and Clemson is in FU mode now. They're gonna cover the this spread is only twenty seven and a half because South Carolina is affiliated with the SEC. Lay the points. This I don't care. That's a it's not really a rivalry. Yeah, I'm going. Uh, I'm going <laughs> chalk. <laughs> I'm going chalk here as well. I mean, Clemson. It does seem like they've just decided to put their, you know, pedal to the metal and just put their what, 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 foot on the neck of the college football what, what, playoff what, what, what and really make really a statement. What makes you think that though? Like just because they played Wofford? Oh, I, I just, I just <laughs> they, laid the trap for Sean. We're not back in the private school pussies of Clemson. Yes, who are looking ahead to the big bad Hokies what you, of no Blacksburg, way. Virginia. You're Give crazy. me the South Carolina yes. game, Cox. There we they go. The real USC, <laughs> motherfuckers. <you> <laughs> So listen to this. I mean, forty-five to ten against Louisville, fifty-nine to seven against Boston College, fifty-nine to fourteen against Wofford. Granted, Wofford sucks, but NC State, fifty-five <laughs> to ten. NC Wake State Forest just lost to Georgia State Tech. Horrible. <laughs> Dude, the ACC is so bad that even this might be a step up, even though mm. they're bad in the SEC. No, I'm t- uh, last week I was <laughs> on a lot of favorites. Forty-five to fourteen, Florida State. Come on, they're gonna <laughs> roll. All these teams suck. <laughs> Well, you think, but you think South Carolina's awesome? No, they suck, but they suck in their SEC, uh, dude, so they're a tiny all, bit better. All those, uh, yeah. The all SEC's those. highly overrated, and I got that opinion from the college experience. Listen. It is highly overrated, yeah. <laughs> I, I got it. I got All right. Uh, Danta Base engaged in infinite loop. The Big 12 is the best conference in college football. Mm-hmm. And uh, Baylor, look out. Wyoming. Heads to Air Force, the Air Force Academy, beautiful Colorado Springs, Colorado, 11 a.m. West Coast kick where Air Force, the Academy lane 10 and a half against a, uh, I don't know, Wyoming, not, not horrible. Colby, are you taking the dog here? I am. This is the week of the dog, man. And then look, Wyoming, um, this shit. Wyoming is, is Craig Bowles got the team. They lost Sean Chambers, their quarterback for the year. Backup comes in. It started some some games last year for them. He's playing much better than he played last year. Another thing is they're a run heavy team, which means they know and they've already played New Mexico. They know how to stop the triple option, play with it. So I think uh, Wyoming sprinkle some of the money line here. What what is, uh, is Wyoming? Wyoming uh, University has to be at altitude, right? It's in Laramie. I think I think it's a yeah. It's they're they're up it, in the mountains, there, right? So so this this normally uh, sneaky, a, a spot, sneaky yeah. advantage for Air Force it, maybe not such a big advantage. I will say I Lar- am, Laramie, Wyoming, seven thousand one hundred sixty-five higher in feet. elevation. Yeah, yeah. I am uh, quite terrified that I'm riding on some dogs with the Dantabase. That's that's often an indication <laughs> that the slowly, dogs buddy. might yeah. have some fleas. No, specifically with you on the dogs, but. <laughs> Uh, I met a dude who went to Laramie Wrangler at a dude ranch this summer. Seemed like a solid dude, like to throw in a lipper and drink a beer. So I'm going to take Wyoming. I'm not going to take those uptight cadets over there. I wonder, I wonder if he's had a coleslaw sandwich (laughs) (laughs) as a bull rider, the inflammation from my, uh, red meat. So really, you don't get a lot of vegan bull riders. You wouldn't believe me if I told you he was on, he was plant-based, but (laughs) No, no one would. Wyoming just took care of Colorado State, uh, and Wyoming secretly owns the Air Force and the Academy. Ten what? and zero against the spread in the last ten meetings against Air Force. Nine and four ATS in their last thirteen. This Wyoming team is scrappy. I think the elevation, the cold weather, those are both things that kind of work in Wyoming's favor. Usually, that's a huge advantage for Air Force. Wyoming also has an extra day to prepare. Love all those factors. Give me Wyoming you catching see, you- ten and a half. And just in general, too, it's going to be a lot of points for a game that looks to be high winds, snow potential. Yeah, agreed. I mean, I get it. The triple option, that might make them better, but. You know what's going to make you better as a business person? 
Starting your own sports book. Now is the time. Hey, you could you could either pay the bookie or you could become the bookie. You could get on the other side of the counter, start booking action. Christmas time, perfect time to get some extra holiday cash or whatever holiday you celebrate. Perfect time to start your own sports book. All you got to do, go to aceperhead.com slash SGP. That's aceperhead.com slash SGP. They can give you up to six weeks free if you sign up over at Ace Per Head. Actually, know a uh, local guy, Ryan, who uses Ace Per Head. He, uh, he said he, he tried out a couple of paperhead services. Ace was by far his favorite. He uses it uh, locally in the local areas <laughs> as you want to. Uh, but again, I'm not an attorney. Consult your attorney on any of these sort of whatever you're starting a business. Best to consult an attorney. That's right. Ace, you want a professional betting site? They get you signed. They get you ready to go, man. You don't have to figure out the lines. They figure it out for you. They grade the lines. All you got to do is find the customers, send them over to your website, and then get paid. And it gets a little easier because of the six weeks free. Just go to aceperhead.com slash SGP, aceperhead.com slash SGP. Let's get to the second half of Colby six pack. Wisconsin heads to Minnesota against the Gophers. A big, big 10 matchup here. Saturday, 1230 kick Wisconsin. Laying two and a half in Minnesota. The Gophers are a home dog, Colby. What are we doing here? Uh, I'm all over Minnesota. I mean, look, Wisconsin's left the state or gone to some other college campuses, what, twice or three times now? And they're, they're what, right. one and two? Yeah. So why would I not take uh, uh, Minnesota? Minnesota's the better team. They can actually throw the ball downfield. They have Rashad Bateman. They got some great players at wide receiver. That actually are athletes, and they also have uh, Winfield in the defensive back is probably better than anyone on Wisconsin's defense. And uh, yeah, I just think this team is just a better team than Wisconsin. Give me, give me the Gophers to row this boat. Okay, what does rowing the boat mean? It means like barely winning because you're don't you get so uh, don't you get like Paul Bunyan's oar or something? Yeah, or? this is the Bunyan Trophy. Yeah, yeah. Is it an it's axe? An what do you get? It's an, an axe. axe. Yeah, I don't think Paul Bunyan's famous for rowing a boat. Well, that's why. I, <laughs> well, Coley said row the boat, and that made me think. Wait, why am I getting this mixed up? Because well, no, it's a thing. It's 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 a PJ Fleck thing. Oh, row yeah. the boat. Got yeah. it. Got it. Yeah. No, I I I, d- I knew that. I didn't get the connection. I apologize. Now I look like an idiot, just like Sean. Yeah, I didn't yeah, know okay. that, and I'm not pretending <laughs> to know that. I like to I like to be honest with the fans. Give me and the t- I would be doing them a disservice if I didn't recommend the clients get all over the Golden Gophers. You saw it with my lock last week. This Ooh. Minnesota team they had their mi- they had their misstep. Okay, they had their misstep, and now they're rallying back six one and one against the spread in their last eight games. This Wisconsin team just keeps disappointing to big spots and going into Minnesota again, tough place to win. And uh, what a better way for uh, Wisconsin fans to be more disappointed. One and four ATS in the last five, the Badgers just, uh, they just seem like a big 10 team that doesn't show up in big spots, especially on the road. All right, Kramer, give us your take on the Gophers. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Uh, I, I just, I'm not getting in the business of playing Wisconsin as a road team. It's as simple as that, and not not to mention where I understand why the line is here. I think some money poured in early on Wisconsin, but I like the way Minnesota responded last week. That was, uh, as you call it, Sean, the dream crusher. Yep, they bounced right back. I believe they scored on their first four drives. They have better athletes in Wisconsin. That's what I'm saying. Like that, that Wisconsin might, might have the hog mollies, but I mean, and it's 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 another weather game, right? It's going to be right around freezing. There's going to be rain or snow. It's going to just be a gross game, and it's going to be who wants it more. What's Wisconsin playing for? No, the winner of this goes to the uh, Big Ten championship. But what's Wisconsin really playing for? The Bunyan. They're looking ahead. <laughs> They're look. I I, I I'm going to go out on a limb. They're annoyed. That Minnesota's here. They're looking ahead into the Ohio State spectrum. Sure. Fuck you if Wisconsin should be favored in this spot. I agree. Yeah, Extremely it seem like, disrespectful. I mean, again, I'm 
I'm not a college football expert, in it, but I have hit five locks in a row. But I would think. <laughs> I remember that from your lock three weeks ago, dude. That was a real gem. I, I thought this. I thought Minnesota should be favored. Like this, I, I thought so, too. If Locking I had to guess this line ahead of time, I would have said Minnesota minus three. Sean, so yeah. my power rankings have this Minnesota laying two and a half points. Yeah, I mean, at the very least, it feels pretty even. And then Minnesota has a nice home field advantage. It's a good spot. I, I do know that a lot of sharp money has come in on Wisconsin, though. So, you know. What are the sharps? Now? We're the dummies at the square table. Colorado and the Buffaloes head to Salt Lake City, Utah, where the Utah Utes are laying 29 points. Jesus Christ. That is a huge number for this matchup. Colby, what are you doing? I'm guessing you're all over your Buffaloes. Here, I right? am all over my buffs. They're actually a, they're better. The record indicates uh, Colorado didn't play an FCS team like half the SEC does with multiple F- oh, FCS whoa, teams. Whoa, whoa, shot they should fired. be bowling. All right, they should be a bowl team, and uh, you saw last week when they beat Washington. Lavishka Chenault's probably the last game of his career. It is Stephen Montez's last game of his career. I like the Buffs. Another thing to keep an eye on here is I do believe this might be in the middle of a snowstorm. So, breaking news: well, winter storms <laughs> to pummel Utah throughout Thanksgiving week. And a uh, loyal listener to the podcast, Tyler, give him a follow at T Pet seventy six. He sent in a photo of the blizzard in Utah. It looked really rough, really bad. The snow is going to continue to come down, and that favors the Buffaloes in a giant number. Another thing to keep an eye on is uh, Colorado uh, uses LaVisca Chenault out of the uh, out of the Wildcat a lot, and if that happens, and if it's a snow snowy game, the best athlete on the field is on Colorado's side. <sighs> they, they don't. Uh, Utah doesn't need to dominate. Uh, Oregon already lost. You know they can kind of. The Pac-12 is theirs for the taking. I, I don't think they need to show up and dominate. And when the weather's that bad, it's Thanksgiving week. You're already looking ahead to the Pac-12 championship against Oregon. It's not, and it's not like an Arizona team. Colorado gets snow all the time. Yeah. yeah. So I don't think I don't think the weather's going to hold them down. But Colorado, this is like, hey man, we win this, we might go bowling. Yeah, They're they go bowling. They go bowling if they win this game. And then Stephen Montez, senior quarterback, last game. Yeah, they, Chenault's going to go pro. I, I just think so you Colorado don't think has Utah the, is trying to make it into the college football playoff. I think they they are, but I think I think they do, but I don't yeah. know if this is going to impact their resume. I, I, if anything, I think the snow could really hurt them more than it could help or hurt Colorado. You guys are hilarious. Colorado's not a they good just football. Beat Washington. Team. Colorado. What? Wa- did you you've watched Colorado play football this year? I have. They have one player. They have one Montez is going to be in the Mont- NFL. Mont- if I was a fan of Colorado, he's, he's probably already better than Daniel Jones. If I, if I, oh, oh. if I was a fan of Colorado, it would be, ex- <laughs> it would be extremely difficult to watch him. He's not even come close to reach his potential. This Colorado team is trash. Utah rolls here. Utah rolls we'll see, here. Buddy. We'll you guys, see. you spent half the time talking about the weather. Like, it's going to matter. It's going to be fine. It's going to be cold. Utah, they're used to that. This Utah team is getting slept on because they play in Utah. And they play in the Pac-12. As I predicted before this, this is a very good team. Very good they team. They can still win the game in Colorado can cover, dude. 29 points is 29 points. I'll happily take anyone's money who wants to take Colorado plus the points here. Utah lay oh, it wow. minus wow. 29. Oh my God. Are you booking your own action at ace per head, Ryan? This is Patty C's lock of the season. Wow. Colorado plus 29. Well, that I, was like, a big I like my position Patty even C. more. <laughs> He's got, he's over 50%. He's I, I, I will say this. There's not many teams that Colby has bias to besides just about every team. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but Colorado, for some reason, and you refuse to to accept the fact that they should be the bison. Their mascot is a bison. All right, we can't go down this no, hole no, again. No. What do you know about animals? Right? <laughs> I know that's a bison. What do you know about meat and animals? Right? I, I know it's a bison. <laughs> As someone who's eaten bison before, I know that's a bison. Dude, those are, that was a, a lifetime ago. As for someone you. who used, <laughs> to eat, used to eat bison. All right, so we're, Colby and I are on the correct uh, team, Colorado yeah. plus 29. Ryan taking a rare bad pick here and uh, Utah <laughs> minus 29 rare misstep in the, in the Colby Dant college six pack for old uh, Ryan Kramer over there. Soy boy Kramer. Oh, well. Next up, we got the Oklahoma Sooners squaring off against the Oklahoma state Cowboys, a team that Ryan uh, continually um, 
makes fun of and mocks. This is going down in Stillwater, Oklahoma. Saturday, November 27th, 5 p.m. kick. Oklahoma, boomer sooner, laying 12. Really got nervous uh, last week when I had TCU plus 18. Totally uh, totally came through late. Oklahoma just kind of fell apart. Oklahoma State, 12-point dog. Colby, what are you doing here? Um, well, well, first off, that Oklahoma game last week was horse shit because oh. TCU should have had the ball. A terrible spot towards the end of the game. Uh, but who was about on that? No, on TCU, TCU. TCU had a chance to win outright. And, uh, I mean, about? they were down 21-0. I thought yeah. they were going to get boat raced. But they came back easily covered. I mean, that pick six was huge. huge. Uh, well, here's the, here's the play here, man. Is last year Gundy came into Norman, scores a touchdown with like a minute left, or not, I think like twenty seconds left. They missed the extra point to send it into overtime. He's probably had this on his mind for a whole season. They're c- this Oklahoma team is flawed. Four straight games where they either lost or scored or barely won. Oklahoma State has a running back, Ch- Chuba Hubbard. He's the best running back in America. He is going to run all over this defense. Spencer Sanders, their quarterback's out, but he, they have other quarterbacks capable. Drew Brown, a, ba- a, a grad transfer from Hawaii. So give me the Cowboys plus the 12 points. Well, isn't Gundy one of those college coaches that makes sure all of his quarterbacks get reps? Yeah. yeah. So they're always – we've seen that happen before where a backup's come in and it, look, it has looked good. So wait, you're telling me that Jalen – former uh, Heisman hopeful Jalen Hurts <laughs> – is not all that great. And this Oklahoma team <laughs> has massive flaws on the defensive side of the football. I'd say on both. The offense isn't as good as it has been the past couple of years. I mean, one could argue that last week was a look-ahead spot. And that's, what about the past four weeks? But I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, they, they just, they yeah. just collapse every and game. Their, and their defense, I mean, if you're playing defense for Oklahoma, it has to be kind of a just this running theme of just completely falling apart, missed tackles, uh, Jalen Hurts has had inopportune turnovers. Well, he's, that's the he's key. been really, it's like they run two separate offenses. One where it's just like standard triple option. The other one where they're trying to run and gun him. And yeah. there there's moments where they look unbeatable. And then there's moments where they completely fall apart. So there's a reason they're one in five ATS in their last six. And I think there just isn't consistency for this Oklahoma team. I'm going okay state. Uh, I mean, you, you, and you don't think Gundy remembers last year where they, they're, they tied it up and sent it to overtime and he misses the yeah, extra huge point. motivation. Yeah. Factor. I'm a man. Such a, such so a Kramer. You're also 10 years old. Yeah. Oklahoma I'm, state. 12. I'm taking, I, I met, I was going to take all the dogs, but you guys, I did. You guys were talking <laughs> funny about fucking Colorado, Utah. That's crazy. Virginia Tech squares off against UVA in Charlottesville, Virginia. Kickoff. This is Black Friday, 9 a.m. West Coast kick. Ryan will be in a tent somewhere and off the grid. Why are they having this game at noon? This is essentially a playoff game. Playoffs? (laughs) Why why are you having this game at noon? Ryan, kick things off. No one is going to be there in Charlottesville. They're, it, it takes time to put on those iron shirts with collars and sweaters <laughs> and all these other things they do. Put try, on those hoods. It takes a while mass. to light the tiki torch. Right? <laughs> yeah, they try so hard to be private school pussies. Uh, I'm going UVA here, plus two and a half. Uh, Virginia Tech, again. This is this is where it all falls apart for Kramer and the uh, Kramer. Can, can, we, uh, can we recap? You guys both taking pit last week. What happened? <laughs> The, uh, well, here, yeah, I'm all over like the all, all off season. I was saying this is Virginia's year. Uh, well, I've changed my mind here. I'm going Hokies. Bud Foster in this defense, killing it the past couple weeks. But, back to back shutouts, which I don't know has he done that before? Like, and they've scored I think 14 points on it's defense. Weird. They're they're they scored more points on defense than they've given up in the past three quarters. Five three days, seniors yeah. only. Hendon Hooker is undefeated as the starter in his last game against Virginia. Can he go out victorious for 15, what is it, 16 straight years, whatever the fuck the streak is? Give me the Hokies to get this done. Uh, I Listen, I, I think the Virginia Tech has been getting insanely disrespected all second half of the season with the spread. They're clearly a different team with Hooker. Fuente has clearly had success when they, he's had a quarterback that will bang. Gerard Evans, Yeah, that team, he was a gamer. Hendon Hooker. He's Gerard Evans, with who's even smarter about the football. And I, I think that Bud Foster, I mean, clearly there is a, an edge with this defense because Bud Foster's retiring. 
but they also have a bunch of young guys who are kind of coming into their own. I mean, like I said, they only five seniors on this team. Yeah. They all, they, they know, listen, they know the stakes here. It's what? 18 out of 19 and 15 in a row. Yeah. But here's the other side of that though, is if Virginia make <sighs> wins, it'll be the f all, seven teams in seven years in the coastal have gone to the ACC championship. One, one of these teams started high and has slowly been coming down the hill. The yeah. other fell off the cliff when they lost to Duke at home by 35. And ever since they, they've been climbing up the mountain. I think, once again, the spread is way wrong. There will be more Hokey fans in attendance at this game. Mark my word. Oh my God! I, I've been to this game before in Charlottesville. UVA fans suck. Were you surprised to see Hoke the Hokies were favored? N no, it, I, it's get the respect is catching up. I got gotcha. you. The respect is too catching much up. respect. And if you follow, if you if you've ever been to Charlottesville, you realize that it's a shitty stadium. And there's not really any home field advantage. And oh, by the way, you know what's good home home field advantage? Dominating them in their own building. They what eight yeah. straight? Yeah. yeah. All right. UVA is due, baby. Ohio oh. State Saturday, 9 a.m. West Coast kick. Head to Ann Arbor, Michigan, to square off against Big Blue. Michigan nine point home <coughs> dog. Colby, kick things off. What are you doing here? What a great spot to catch Ohio State coming off of the Penn State win. Uh, this Michigan team is heading and trending in the right direction. The offense has been great. Uh, I mean, sh I thought Indiana was going to give them much more of a game than what the final result was. Give me the give me Harbaugh on the points. I see what you're doing here. You really want a wrench to get thrown into that playoff. That that's what this is all that's about. Col Colby. That is Colby's dream. That's I didn't. Well, I mean, I did say last week. Uh, you might you might recall this when I said sprinkle some of the money line on Arizona State. You did. Beating Oregon. You did, but huh? you say that for basically any time you no, take no. a dog. Last week I only I only said two. How many dogs did you take? And two? both both uh, <laughs> Toledo and. Uh, in Toledo, how'd yeah. that go for oh, you? Action, weekday games. Gotta watch out. Gotta watch out for those. Uh, but no, I mean, dude. Tell, you, tell me Josh Gaddison's offense isn't opening up more and more each week. I think regardless if you're a Michigan fan, your your optimism's got to be great considering next year, you know, McCaffrey, all these players that, that will be there with this offense. It takes a while to, to, to go from that offense to another offense. And as the season's uh, progressed. I'm going to update this line to nine and a half. I was just on uh, mybookie.ag. Well, we, we know which side of this Sean's taken. I'm also <laughs> on the uh, Wolverines. Yeah. Sprinkle, they, sprinkle mean, some on the money line, huh? Uh, Harbaugh. <laughs> Harbaugh is getting this Michigan team up. They're playing. Uh, they're playing well, especially in big games. Uh, tons of motivation for Michigan and Ohio State. That was kind of a rough game against Penn State. It was. It was the worst case scenario because it, Penn State had a chance to win outright. They didn't win outright. I of course picked Ohio well, State to well, cover. They didn't cover. Why? Why is Penn State trying to block Chase Young with one? That why are they not double teaming Chase Young? They, I mean, there's a lot of the holes whole game. in the Penn State uh, coaching. Uh, James Franklin, it, it's weird. He has kind of helped transition the program back to being relevant. But then also you just watch the games, and sometimes you just have no idea what no, the hell he's doing. Zero adjustments. It's like this guy is dominating the football game. He, let's, just keep, well, let's just keep the tackle out there blocking him. And maybe Harbaugh has finally figured something out there. He's got the right press khakis, whatever it is. Five and zero ATS in the last five games. Seven and one straight up in the last eight. And Ohio State again. Uh, I mean, they've been great. They've been dominant. But I, I think a big number against Michigan. Michigan's just gonna throw the kitchen sink at them. I, I think. I think Michigan hangs in this game. How's Harbaugh done in this rivalry? Winless, but uh, mm. but that was against Urban Meyer. This is Ryan Day. Mm. Well, have they gone up or down? Well, they they didn't play a uh, we know power that, five out of conference. Well, we, I guess we don't know the new guy's stance on recruiting murderers and thugs, <laughs> allegedly. Uh, I uh, yeah, I, I'm not. You guys are crazy. Have you seen that new uh, commercial with Harbaugh and the guy taking care of his khakis? Yes. No? I mean, I have not. I don't think yeah. the the great the yeah, greatest so Harbaugh. So we're, we're gonna fade that. We're <laughs> we're gonna fade that guy, and we're gonna take Ohio State. You know what? I, I'm surprised because Harbaugh apparently doesn't eat chicken. I thought maybe you would, nah. you know, get, <laughs> see see the value in that. Wait, he Harbaugh's plant based? No, but he okay. doesn't eat chicken. Oh, well, that, he hey, <laughs> he only eats red meat. Uh, go all the way, bro. He only eats red. <laughs> he only eats red meat. He, he thinks only chickens are dinosaurs or something uh, like that. 
Ohio State's the side here. I think I think they 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 played well enough to win last week. I think they get up for this even more. This is a bigger game. They, the fans stormed the field in Columbus despite being a twenty point home. Yeah, dog. That, that was a little odd. That was like <laughs> the Eagles defense celebrating in the end zone down fourteen. <laughs> Not that, was not our, that was not our finest moment of the season. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to switch it up. Oh, wait, there you go. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go back to this. I'm trying to find the perfect music. Re- remix, remix, remix. <laughs> and speaking of remix, they're remixing it. They're back. Manscaped. That's right. Manscaped.com. Use a promo code SGP, 20% off and free shipping. Colby, yeah. uh, you're out there dating in the uh, single world. D- I'm in love. You're in love. Wow. Okay. Hold on. Breaking <laughs> news. Colby is in love. The database has found his, uh, what do you, what do you find? Your perfect spreadsheet, your perfect uh, I, algorithm. I did, I did, man. Now, it, it, when you're hooking up with a girl, what, I mean, Colby, did the, do do women? I, I'm uh, you know I'm a married guy. Yeah. Haven't seen the playing field in a long time. My knee's been blown out. But even I know to keep things spicy. You want to keep things fresh down there. You know you want to make it as appetizing as possible. You want to give yourself a home field advantage. You want the women that are coming there. You want them to be like, hey, this is a place I like to play. Of course. This is very supportive. Great environment. Smells good. Trimmed down, great playing field. This is where well, yeah. you don't this want the Heinz Field. <laughs> I mean, look at you, you, the LA Rams. Why did they have so much success? Because they played on turf. They didn't have that long grass slowing them down. The long grass <laughs> is going to slow you down out there in the dating field. That's why you need Manscaped. Trim it down, keep it clean. Lawnmower 2.0, buddy. Yeah, exactly. The Lawnmower 2.0, much better than the first edition of Lawnmower. Uh, you know, you. You don't have. To, it would be nice if they had a little bag on the side for your clippings. So you could. Th- my that was always <laughs> the worst case scenario when your dad would make you bag it as well. I mean, I tried to tell my dad, it's like, hey, this is natural compost. Just let the grass clippings stay out there. Wouldn't go for it. He wanted a nice clean lawn. It's very much conservative like, of him. Much like uh, <laughs> myself, who wants a nice clean area, a landing strip, whatever it is. You want to go with the uh, Baker Mayfield. You can find your own. <laughs> Carve your own out <laughs> using the lawnmower 2.0. And again, the benefits of grooming cannot be undersold here on the Sports Gambling Podcast. And again, it's pretty easy 20% off and free shipping. 20% off. That's my formula when it comes to trimming things down there. 20% off. Don't need to go half off. Don't need to go 75%. 20% off. That's perfect. And free shipping. All you got to do, manscaped.com, use the promo code SGP. Composting is the perfect complement for the plant-based diet. <laughs> oh my God, right, guys! I haven't. I, I think I found out what it was. The six-pack. We're, we're, we've been winning ever since I've been in, like, seeing this girl. So that's what it really is. The more energy I put in on the relationship, no, no, the but, but better I am. Also, Colby, you've been like really tired lately. That's true. That's true. Talking about how you that's don't get true. enough sleep. You tried to blame that, it on the plant-based s- diet. That's you, the plant-based you diet. You tried to blame it on the salads, bro. <laughs> All right, let's round out the top 25 here. Auburn heads to Alabama in Auburn. Wait, what's going on here? I'm confused. It says Auburn, uh, yeah. Alabama, but Alabama's it's in Auburn. Home. It's in Auburn. I'm okay. sorry. Uh, Blame Kramer on that. One. Oh Alabama plant-based diet. heads to Auburn for the iron bowl where Alabama is a three and a half point favorite. I mean, does two a matter? Colby that that's basically what this line is saying five star after five star he does matter but I still think Bo Nix can't throw the forward pass very well so that concerns me I'm gonna ride this is one I'm gonna strip this is one that I this is what the probably the least liked game on the slate here mm. but give me give me Bama to cover this uh but I, I'm not uh I'm not gr- feeling great about this one because Let's be honest. Malzahn has a way. I mean, I think two out of the last three they've won against Bama in in Mobi or in uh, in Auburn. And uh, but this my, number's fishy though. It is. And Bo Nix, it's so every time he throws the ball, you're just sitting there like, eh, you know, like is it going to be picked up? I'm going to Auburn because they smell blood in the water, right? And I'm going to Auburn because I just don't want to have to live in a world where Alabama loses their backup or loses their quarterback and they still get in the 
They college still football back playoff. Yeah. It doesn't, Any other team loses their starting quarterback, and, and immediately that perception gets lowered. Yeah. And with Alabama, sure, do they maybe still deserve to be one of the top teams? No, they don't. They deserve to be like number 11 in the country based on that I, schedule. I, I just can't, I don't see the argument if they don't win their conference. And they're not going to win their conference. How about they have one win right now against a team with a winning record? Again, right. I don't know why right. we're seeing it I think it's and the actually. rest of the world isn't. But at the end of the day, it's very hard for me to justify a team making the college football playoff that doesn't win their own conference. Alabama is not only going to win it in Auburn, they're going to fucking destroy Auburn. They're oh, going to wow. be okay. now in previous years, they came in as undefeated, unheralded, and Auburn had the motivation to upset the mighty giant. But now Alabama's coming in, not as Goliath, but they're coming in as David. They're rallying around the backup quarterback and the fact that Saban, he's, you know, he's going to be, can't you just see the press conference? Alabama wins by 28 in the iron bowl. And he's up there in the press conference, making a, uh, making a case for how he should be in the college football playoff. This is what right. college football it was built to happen. This is when you only put four teams in the playoff. All, Alabama is going to be the invitation the thorn in the side of the committee. And Alabama is going to destroy. It, it's Auburn. Tough I'm to sorry. Tell. This is Alabama minus three and a half in Auburn. Yeah. 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 Just, uh, just pointing that out. It was written wrong on the sheet. It's tough by to Colton. tell. It's tough to tell how good this quarterback was because, oh, they played Western Carolina, a bad FCS school last week. And I, what well, isn't is that? The, but that's the reason to take Auburn. I'm, that's why I'm with you. Yeah. Because everyone's like, well, they just got five star after five star. I can tell if you. If I have all, to hear yeah. any more about all the five star recruits in, in Alabama, I get it. It doesn't mean they deserve to be in the in the tournament, or, or sorry, the, the invitational. invitational. Yeah. And not only, anyway. Long story short, Auburn's going to roll here because I, I think you're wrong, Sean. I think the motivation edge is in Auburn because they feel like they can actually win. They went from being 14 point dogs to three point dogs. That's too much for two. Yeah, I, I, I just 11 point <laughs> swing for for Saban's insane motivation for this game. This is his career like this is this is the if, game that Saban wins this is why he's a great coach no but one of the things that I think to keep an eye on here is if Bo Nix can just find a way to pass the ball for all he's not gonna figure that out this, no this is Alabama's worst defense I've ever seen under Nick Saban so if, wow. they, can, if they can just by far like it's by far their worst defense so in a way wouldn't you rather have Alabama make the playoff and just get rolled up that happened last year they got rolled up last year by like 40 it's by true. Clemson it's true. <laughs> so Coley, I feel like you're going back and forth. Are you on Alabama? No, no or we're on you? Auburn. Uh, okay. No, 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 I'm on. I'm on Bama. <laughs> I'm on Bama. Don't you try to see sneak that's that why? Well, that's why I was confused because you confused me. I thought we were on the same. No, page. I was just saying from a game. I'm covering the game. If Bo Nix can, can complete those passes, my my thing is I'm taking Bama because I, until I see Bo Nix complete those passes, I can't take that Auburn team. Yeah, I think everyone. I think that Bama playing this uh, one triple A team. Got everyone a little too excited about the offense. I love how ESPN was like, it's like the playoff started last week. See, we don't need a bigger playoff because it started last week. Oh, it's a great matchup in the first round of the playoffs. So Western Carolina and, and Alabama, right? Yeah, what playoff do you get to just take a week off because it's conference championship <laughs> week and you didn't make it that far <laughs> right. in your conference, but you get to just hang out and wait? It's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. Texas A&M heads down to Baton Rouge, Louisiana with the Tigers, LSU. Laying 17 points at home against Texas A&M. Four o'clock West Coast kick Saturday. Rounding out the top 25. Colby, what are you doing here? Kind of a big number. I was on A&M last week. Had him as my dog. Certainly wore a live dog. Did not cash, but covered the 13 against Georgia pretty easily. Do they get up for this game? Can they show up? Or is this LSU just saying? No, I'm with you. I, I was on A&M last week as our well. Ass. And uh, I think a And M will do it again. I mean, the real problem with a And M, they had their chances to win that game against Georgia, but Kellen Mond is a liability, man. Great fourth quarter quarterback when you're down 15 points, though. But um, to pad those stats. Um, That's the Jameis Winston right yeah, there. Yeah, exactly. This is the Jameis Winston of college football. Jimbo Fisher coached both, but 17 still big, t too big of a number. I I, I think a And M is going to keep it close. I like Mike Elko, their defensive coordinator. Despite LSU's offense being the arguably the best offense in college football, Elko should have good enough good enough game plan in check to, to keep him away from their normal numbers. Give me Mon to come back late, cover this one. 
Yeah, you, you're I'm, you're taking a team to backdoor. Uh, well, or sprinkle some on the money line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going. I'm going Texas A&M as well. I think. I think this is a look ahead spot for LSU. LSU kind of new to being thrown in this college football playoff. Eddie O hasn't been there to kind of uh, keep these kids heads straight. It went to they, seven overtimes last year. Yeah. This just LSU just needs to win the game. It doesn't really matter how much they beat Texas A&M by. And they're already thinking about the sec championship against Georgia. They're already thinking about the college football playoff. The Texas A&M is just, it's like, yeah, how, how are you going to get motivated for that? Texas A&M? I mean, this could be huge for them. They hung with Georgia. I think they feel like they can hang with LSU. Could, could it hurt that? Uh, can you, are they still calling for rain? Are they calling for rain? I believe they were calling for rain before, right? 80% chance. Yeah, that actually kind of strengthens uh, A and M because LSU is a finesse passing team. I would say more so this year than years past. Um, so I, I think that favors into A and M seventeen points. I mean, I think you, I think sh Sean nailed it right. Like this is just a motivation spot, and I think here's the problem, Sean, and you didn't call this one out. Yeah. Eddie O certainly knew a Jimbo growing up. Mm. The question is, <laughs> is he friends with Jimbo? Yeah, of course. Or does he want to slit so there's Jimbo's a, there's throat? A, there's a 98% chance he's had chicken on a stick with it with a Jimbo. Uh, Jimbo right? could be the name of his gator that passed away recently, <laughs> and maybe this is a sentimental spot. I'm with you guys. I think you take the points because LSU, no nothing, nothing to play for here. There, yeah. It's total look ahead. There's no reason for them to, to do anything but get out of this game and, and move on to next week. All yeah. right, uh, before we go, uh, or before we wrap things up, going to hit a couple listener questions, including what? Uh, at Welcome to UAB, he wants to know, uh, Colby and, and us in general, who wins Conference USA West? Hashtag We Matter, damn it. Just the West Division? Is that what, he, is it what he's asking? Uh, well, his name is Welcome to UAB. I'm guessing yeah, he, he wants, wants to, to know say UAB. UAB. And he's, a big, he's, a, he's a good guy. And are, a, we, are we sure this isn't a Sean Burner account? <laughs> Welcome. Yes, Sean I set Turner. myself. Look, I've been pro. I've been, I, I'm calling UAB. I've been pro UAB ever since they wanted to get the Komodo Dragon on the sidelines. That was pretty so, cool. We're big UAB supporters. <laughs> so, so give me the Blazers to uh, to to win this thing. Louisiana Tech's got to suspend their quarterback and their wide receiver, so they're a mess. Saw their miss kind of flying under the radar a little bit, but uh, give give me the Blazers to get this done. I'm with you. Welcome to UAB. I'm I'm in as well. Throw me on the UAB side. And please, it would t once you win the the Conference USA, can you please carry out that dream of your athletic director and get a real Komodo <laughs> dragon on get the, the dragons on the sideline? <laughs> public school? <laughs> They're a public school, yes, right? Yeah, yeah, at least let's, uh, yeah, let's go. <laughs> who are they playing? They this week they get uh, who are they Louisiana play? Louisiana Tech. Right? Yeah, Louisiana Tech. Mm, that's right. Sounds yeah. like a private yeah. school. Washington State heads to Seattle, Washington to square <laughs> off on against the hated Huskies in the Apple Cup. Wazoo and the Cougs catching seven points. One o'clock kick on Friday, Black Friday. Will it be will it be a Crimson Friday for our Washington State Cougars, mm. Colby? Oh man. I'm gonna go with the Huskies, man. Oh, I, I wow. Think, I just think coming off a bad loss. I this pains me to say it. I just think coming off a bad loss on the road. Uh, Washington State celebrated like they won the, the Anthony Gordon, you know, <laughs> going wild doing the bowling. It was thing. A, it was a crazy. Yeah, give me the coo or give me the Huskies to to get this done. But uh, you know, obviously I'm going to be rooting for the Cougs to 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 to, to make one of run. their uh, as, as we were on the field uh, as the game ended when we were up there against Stanford. One of their giant behemoth offensive linemen, as he's falling out of the stands, just kind of did this like hair whip giant like oh, god winning feels good <laughs> i'm not fading that action are you kidding no. me what is wrong with you colby colby what? they're undefeated since we visited that's them. true we fuck it give me wazoo give me what? wazoo what, what am i thinking give what? me the helmet good the luck. huskies have already helmet, made a bowl. Okay. Right? what are the can we, do, can we do the woe bunnies can we finally do this man voltron Washington is highly fraudulent. The Huskies have nothing to play for, Colby. They made their bowl game. That's a it's the a season's game. a failure. They could both be zero and eleven here. I, I hear and you. They got something I, to play I know, for. But just here. listen to my yeah. bullshit logic. <laughs> They're having a failure season. Mm -hmm. Period. Period. 
Hey, but there's a lot of plant-based dieters in uh, Seattle. Not (laughs) Pullman. Pullman. (laughs) Pullman's more our style. (laughs) With the exception of Ryan eating a coleslaw burger, every bunch of meat eaters in Washington State, bunch of real men, and they're being led by a real man by the name of Coach Leach. And if you read his book, Geronimo, which I've read and I've really enjoyed, he brings that warrior culture (laughs) mindset that Geronimo had to Washington. And, uh, you know, to f- when he brings the Cougars into town, I think they're going to sneak up on Washington. I think they're going to scalp the, uh, the the Huskies. Although uh, the, the Apache actually didn't scalp very often. It was v- in very rare cases <laughs> and actually most oftentimes in retaliation yeah. of white men scalping some of them. Um, so a you know, lot to consider here. But again, I'm going Wazoo. <laughs> Give me the Wazoo and the seven points all day, baby. Yeah, I mean, think about it. What's what's so exciting about the, a scalped white man? That's not a cool trophy. Uh, well, uh, some Plains Indians did do that, but not the Apache. And uh, these the Washington State Cougars are true warriors. Uh, I just don't think Washington can slow down their passing offense. It's pretty insane. And if the defense can just get a couple turnovers, I was actually pretty impressed in person with the open field tackling that I saw against the Stanford game. And I mean, granted, they let up a shitload of points last week. I was going to say, but I think I, if they're if they're tackling, could just be okay. <laughs> they can win some games, and I think they will be decent against. Uh, it was Washington. impressive uh, how quickly teams can move the ball down. The, I mean, just as quickly as they can score, they they can give up a nice three three play ninety eight yard drive. I think we saw two of them. <laughs> well, I think that's the reason why they haven't been as good as as usual. But since we've been there, they're undefeated. So they uh, need Hercules. Yeah, give me Wazoo again. What am I thinking, huh? I'm split. My dog's a husky. You know what I mean? Uh, no, your dog is Mike Leach and the Washington <laughs> Cougars. <laughs> Cougs. All right, BYU, San Diego State. Our gals. Wait, I thought we I thought we said we're done picking them. Uh, well, we Colby pushed, we them, pushed on the on them last week, so I feel like we have to, we until we lose the okay. final okay. strike. I'm taking the Aztecs plus three again. The Mormons showing up there Ooh. on Black Friday in San Diego. Too much temptation. So they much might get pussy. into it. Get might get into a Dr Pepper. It's a lot of a lot of potential pitfalls <laughs> from some, the Mormons. Some Pico de Gallo. I don't know. Can they have spicy peppers? <laughs> it feels like that's that feels like the, the devil's work. Also, uh, crazy documentary on Netflix about uh, Warren Jeffs unrelated to BYU, but kind of related. <laughs> oh, what a, what a more, a nice Mormon. Please do talk. Please it's do elaborate. Insane, are you familiar with the Jeffs and that whole like cult yeah. kind of it? They branched off from Mormonism, but insane, <laughs> insane cult. And he like, loved pussy more than you Colby. <laughs> well, he loved, uh, he loved other stuff as well. Uh, and a well. uh, real sick guy, plant-based dieter guaranteed. Oh, wow. Right. Let's see. Colby, you're, you're crossing the line. You've, you've <laughs> <laughs> How Colby, give you. us your Colby, give us your pick. That Colby. is a disgusting <laughs> act. Look, uh, I, I I went with the Washington State Cougars. I'm not going to switch Cougars. I was up at that bar, the the Coug, and yeah. I had my own Cougar. So um, I'm going to take the BYU Cougars to get this done, and we'll finally get San Diego State off the slate. So, no, this is the spot where you take San Diego State, Colby. Yep, they're at home. Rocky Long's going to have the defense ready, and like Sean just highlighted, these Mormon kids are going to be just drained from all the wet, the this insane hot ass San Diego pussy. I like San Diego in these small numbers. You know, I think when it gets when it gets big, as if they're like big favorites or even big dogs, then I I get a little bit worried. But small numbers, uh, SDSU shows up. I mean, if you're San Diego State. And you're 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 a bro down there. You probably got some money because your your daddy's a, 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 like San a hedge Diego fund State. Guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're just not, just no roll one, with me. Just, just right. roll with They're me. They're not really that rich. You, you you take advice from Lawrence Taylor and you just order up a bus load of freshmen like sorority pledges mm. and just unload them in the hotel. There you go. Take one for the team. That's oh, true. It just happens. It will just happen. Uh, break out, will, break will there, out the sheets with holes in it. Will there be any floating? In, uh, so, in, in so San Diego. Yeah. Soaking, so, whatever the fuck. No, there's just going to be good old fashioned fucking Long cocks. hot California blonde <laughs> pussy just saying, hey, what's up to these BYU kids? And they're going to be like, oh my goodness. Like, mind uh, mind if I doc? They're going to say, well, <laughs> screw football. Like, what's the point? What, what, like, what are we here for, right? What are we here for? This isn't a. They're going to think they're in Orlando. It's going to be magical. <laughs> Orlando. <laughs> All right, everyone. Happy birthday. <laughs>
Time for the Lock Dog Tease presented by MyBookie.ag, promo code SGP. Colby, kick things off. So What's your Lock Dog up. and Tease? Uh, lock, we're going to go with the Minnesota Golden Gophers. No. no. That's the Lock of, like of the Week. They're just a better team. My dog, do I dare? What are, what what is the money line play on Colorado? Huh? Should I give my clients that after after I'm just I, I hit on the money the line's State? not out yet, but I would say <laughs> plus fifteen hundred something like that. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm I'm just joking. I'm gonna go for the real money line play. Let's go with uh, give me Wyoming on the money line. Ooh wee! So I'll say around four hundred because they're what ten and a half point dogs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and uh, throw out a tease for the people, Colby. All right, the tease. Let's go. <laughs> for the people. Let's get. Uh, let's the get people's o- tease. Oklahoma State up to eighteen. Okay. Let's get. Uh, let's get. Give me. Give me a. Uh, what's it called? A and M at twenty three. I love the way he 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 adds all this drama. And because we all know he's prepared. Give me this Colorado way. at thirty-five. <laughs> I oh, knew that was going to get in there. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the Buffaloes plus thirty-five. Well, that, you, that's totally not necessary. Do you have a bonus lock for the people? Come I here. do. My Eastern Michigan Golden War Eagles. They get it done. The Eagles do uh, in, in college, at least. And uh, oh wow, and <laughs> too, too soon. The the, the, the wow on, Eastern Michigan. This has been my team all year, man. That's my real gals this year. Eastern Michigan has been a covering machine for me. I'm saying you're talking shit about the Eagles. Well, their name's the Eagles. And Sean's so. not e- not even fighting back. Well, right now, he's just got to, That's you know, how you know it's bad. Look, the Cowboys lost, too. They're still on a game out. Yeah. Plenty of games left, Ryan. I, I, well, I'm not. I'm just saying it's, it's, it's rare to see Sean not start chirping. <laughs> well, what am I going to say? They look like complete dog shit. I'm not going to be like, oh, shut up, Colby. They're awesome. <laughs> You don't know what you're talking about. Colby can watch a game and see the score and know that a team is bad. Yeah, like my Jets. All right, and the CFL. The Jets uniforms. have won three in a row. Those Why do you hate CFL. the Jets? I can't root for those uniforms. Those are the worst uniforms that have sound, ever happened to the NFL. You sound like a girl deciding who to root for based on the. Those uniforms. outfits are gross. <laughs> it, they don't even match. What's their color scheme? I can't get behind them what? anymore. They, and three in a row. Does that win against the Redskins really count? Yeah. The Redskins are out there. They're playing. <laughs> they beat the Lions somehow. <laughs> All right, Kramer. What's your lock? Y'all done? <laughs> My lock. See, I you know, I was going to go Wazoo, but why, why? I Fuck you. Virginia Tech's not losing to UVA. Lock it up. Okay. Wow. Lock bold. it A couple up. weeks ago, he was shaking his boots about this game. Uh, listen, I, I don't have to sweat this one out. I'm going to put the bet in. I'm going to disappear off the grid for a couple days. Suck on some uh, some fake meat made out of plant based shit for Thanksgiving. Soy Stay dog. tuned. Oh, Stay tuned for the NFL show. For, <laughs> Look, for, babe, there's a honeysickle. <laughs> for my dog, uh, yeah, we don't have. Do we not have? We don't have money lines yet, Sean. On nope. Fuck. All right. Well, give me Oklahoma State. Okay. For my teas. Let's uh, let's start with uh, let's go Minnesota up to eight and a half. I assume That's everyone. I assume everyone did that because it's very intelligent. Uh, <laughs> let, let's uh, go Ohio State down to three and a half. Less intelligent there, and uh, let, let's uh, let's tease that uh, San Diego State game up to nine. And your bonus lock, Ryan. For my bonus lock, Sean, I'm gonna head. So here, here's my thing. I was fully prepared to pull the trigger on a wazoo bonus lock forgetting that we have now committed yeah to taking them every week so what am i going to do texas here, here let, here's what we need to say about texas texas has not gotten shit done i love they, this play if when they need to, when, when they need to get it done give me texas tech this almost made my six pack plus the points yeah. Uh, catching 10 they're catching 10 texas tech I, plus sh- 10. shop around i saw the 10 and a half are we the, sure yeah. tom herman's a good coach <laughs> it's a good or is he following the fate of chuck strong texas and, fans are just losing their mind they open the season playing each other next year texas and chuck, and chuck strong but you got to think about this like it, it it isn't and i think we don't talk about this enough in the college ranks but it's one thing to be a super successful coach 
at a program that's a little smaller. You don't have the heat. People aren't crawling up your ass right away. You're given time to build a culture. Yeah. It's another to take that on the road to a situation where you have to deal with fucking media. You have your own TV station. You have people with money who are like, hey, y'all, when we win, <laughs> yeah, yeah, when we win yeah. in football games. And I think it's interesting because I thought he was going to be a good coach. Yeah. But at the end of the day, when you can recruit the way that Texas allows you to recruit and you just fall short. I mean, they're repeated. six and they're just six and five right now. And they won two games on last second that, field. Goals. That's not acceptable. One against Kansas. They, they've been I mean, it sounds funny to say this out loud, but since Mac Brown, they've yeah. been a real joke. <laughs> Mac Brown. I mean, is he? Is, Mac Brown in year one. He was never yeah. a great coach, but he was a great coach. He was a CEO, you know? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And there's something about that. Like these guys that come in and they're, and they're fucking, they have all these ideas about how football should be played and culture should be built. And I, it's anyway, it's super interesting because I I'm shocked. I think Texas need, needs to move on. Wow. Wow. The Hokies were like two losses away from there for me, but yeah, Fuente, you, you fired fu Fuente, Fuente earlier, earlier I, this year. I almost <laughs> fired him. Fortunately, I don't have the power. He would have been out if I was in charge. <laughs> I got to trust this AD. He seems to be, he, he's, yeah, he Mike seems, Young is, seems is, to have yeah. a, uh, but he also hired Buzz Williams. So. Sweet 16. For my lock. Give me Alabama minus three and a half. For no. My dog. <laughs> Give me the Cougs. Outright winners of the Apple Cup. Let's say around like plus 200, plus 210. For my tees, I'll take San Diego State up to nine. I'll take Michigan up to 15 and a half. And I'll take the Gophers up to eight and a half. For my bonus lock, Chip Kelly has got these UCLA Bruins playing better. No. Not amazing, but playing better. <laughs> They're only laying two and a half at home. <laughs> I, I thought I'd never hear it. Yeah, well, Sam, what are you doing, Sam, Sean? The guy who brought Sam Bradford to Philadelphia. Hey, mistakes Sean. have been made. <laughs> But I I Sean. I think uh, I think they match up well against Cal. Give me Cal, or sorry, give me UCLA minus two and a half. Sean, what? You left me in, I, I, explicit instructions that had you ever tried to back Chip Kelly again <laughs> in the future. That I, is a disgusting. I, su act. I suggest maybe you don't do that. This is what uh, uh, it's a small number. Uh, Cal, I mean, you look Cal at how Cal played USC and how UCLA played USC. Sure, there's motivation differences, but Cal well, Cal's already bowling last yeah, week. I just don't yeah. think Cal is that motivated to show up. Uh, this just seems like a game that, you know, Cal's kind of checked out there on holiday. I, I'm UCLA's surprised at home. You're, you're, you're not. I, I, th I was assuming that you were going to take the, the Akron number and, and go with uh, who is who was playing Akron again. It was it. Uh, Ohio, Ohio, I believe, right? Ohio minus Bob twenty-seven Katz playing Akron. Yeah, I was gonna say, what is UMass not playing yeah. this weekend? What, <laughs> what happened? I had a nice run, um, but yeah, Easter. And Akron you decided to get off that gravy train for Chip Kelly. <laughs> <laughs> Look out, Ryan! Friend, Look out, friends UCLA don't let friends. You said he's gonna show up in a big way. All right, guys. Thank you for participating in the Sports Gambling Podcast. Make sure you go to the iTunes reviews, rate, review, and share on iTunes. Make sure you check out the college experience on the Sports Gambling Network feed. You can. Uh, what's the best way to get that, Colby? Uh, you well, I mean, you go to iTunes, you type in Sports Gambling Podcast Network, or you just go to sportsgamblingpodcast dot com, and then you click on the college experience. And then you win a lot of money if you if you tail us. Uh, listen, dude, you know what's more important than pussy? Selling your goddamn show. <laughs> Whoa, now, buddy. Yeah. Look, I haven't gone the plant based diet yet. All right, I did one day on accident. All right, that, I'm gonna go get a burger right now. All right. Enjoy, uh, Colby, talking about burgers well, and, and everything I, else over at the college I gonna, experience. I was gonna let Colby know. I have I have checked with the scientist. Pussy does not count as meat. Oh wow. <laughs> Well, it should count as fish. Or at least you're a pescatarian, right? Oh, Are you wow. even dabbling or no? Wow. I, I mean, I don't know what kind of situation you got to deal with. Well, <laughs> I mean, if you're going to compare it to anything, you compare it to clams. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Again, as always, listening, grading, reviewing, sharing. I've never fucked a clam. <laughs> you haven't? The bearded clam. <laughs> For the Sports Gambling Podcast, I'm Sean stacking the money green, and he is Ryan. Mm, Justin Fuente. Kramer, let it ride.